Hi Deke, it's Scout Wilkins here and uh, last year you asked me to film a little quick video about the sheep wagon and I haven't ever done it so here it is without fanfare and without even doing all the niceties just gonna shoot it. This is a uh, it's an enlargement of a traditional sheep wagon. I built it when I was 22, and I was working for Boise Cascade out in the woods of Idaho. I had lived in my truck the summer before, and when I got laid off for the winter, I went home to Halfway, Oregon, and built the sheep wagon. And then they quit logging, and so I went to work at the sawmill, and... <laughs> Lived in it anyway. I've lived in it probably over the course of time, maybe three years full time, three, four years in different segments. Perfect for one person, a little small for two. It's uh, six feet wide, I think, six and a half feet wide. 18, the trailer is 18 feet long. Um, it's got a cute little sheep herder's stove, traditional stove. The stovepipe is not hooked up right now because I'm not using it. It's a huge fire hazard. Uh, everybody will agree. When the stovepipe goes up, it's right near here. In fact, it, um, I've had to replace this window. It's Lexan. Sometimes it moves, you know, it warps because it gets so hot. Uh, three of the windows open. The two windows in the back. I've got... Um, I'll shoot something from the back too, but I've got this piece of hardware on here that is out of a boat where you can uh, leave it. I, I had these on my lookout tower before I was ever a, built, before I built this, I was a lookout and that's what held the windows open because it's so windy on a lookout. So both of these back windows open. There is a skylight, which as I said, I didn't really prepare for this video, so. I'll just show you. In the summertime here, I keep this um, reflective stuff on it. and uh, But it is so nice to lay in bed and look out at the windows, at the stars, at the sunshine, at the moon. Fun little bumper sticker friend of mine gave me one time. I made this little medicine cabinet thing. It's all very simple. I wanted it to be bigger, well, let me see, I'll film from this side. I wanted it to be bigger than a traditional sheep wagon, which is only five feet wide and five feet tall. And so I made these hoops. They're just laminated one by four, cut on a bandsaw. Um, so there were 32 of these pieces and 16 of these pieces, and I laid them all out on the floor. This is built on an old burned out house trailer frame. There are a couple of places. This, The wheels are under here, right? And so I've got these places I'll show you on the outside where I built some boxes. And those give a little extra room. There's room for the stove in the one box. And I'm about to run out of film. I'll show you another thing I did is uh, underneath the bed. Um, it's two stories. The bottom part goes only part way in. You can see there's a wall there. This top part, there I've got my spare sheets and my tent for backpacking. It goes all the way to the back of the trailer. The reason I did this is so my guitar could slide in here. This is where my guitar lives. And uh, the other stuff lives down here. And then there's access from the back. So here we are on the outside. Um, you can see on this side it's pretty plain. In the back I had some real fun with those windows. And here, this is very rough. I mean this thing is, what, 40 years old now just about? So yeah, it's, it's old and needs some TLC this summer. But here's where I store my outside gear, my tarps and my stove and the bigger tent. This actually, when it, I, this needs to be fixed, but uh, this folds down so that you can get access to everything in there. 
Uh, just as a fun little touch, I had a metalworking friend when I built this, and he said, well, if you're going to have a sheep wagon, you got to have a ring to tie your horse on. All sheep wagons have a way to bring their horse. People ask me how I did the um, roof, the ceiling. It's masonite, quarter-inch masonite, that the day that I was putting it on, it was a warm spring day, a dewy lawn. I put the masonite down on the lawn, let it get a little pliable, sort of not wet, but it drew some of the moisture from the ground and the sun was on it, so it was warm and damp. And so it fit easily over the hoops, and I just screwed it to the hoops. And then I took it to a spray foam place and had them spray the foam, an inch of insulating foam, on the outside. And over the years, I have tried myriad things to cover that because foam doesn't do well with UV light. So I've painted it multiple times. I put permachink flexible latex stucco on it at one point, which was not, it was all right for a while. The biggest problem that I've actually had with this is uh, the flickers trying to knock holes in it. The, that's a bird, it's like a woodpecker. I don't know if they like the sound it makes drumming or what, but that actually has been my biggest problem over the years. Here's where I uh, didn't finish one of the outside boxes. When I do, someday, this will open from the outside. This will just be more outside storage. Here's the box that the stove, when you're on the inside, this is where the stove uh, sets. The weather stripping, obviously very useful at this point. Uh, the great thing about this was I've had to buy very little metal. I bought the... Uh, two and a half inch channel or three inch channel. I bought some strapping and tubing, but for the most part, the metal that I use, like for that back box, that was taken off of the trailer that I built it out of. I built it, like I said, out of this old burned out house trailer that was 27 feet long. And I had a friend who did metal work, cut it down to 18 feet. And uh, so that gave us some extra metal. It was great. And it's, you know, it's rough. It's perfectly fine. It has, I have towed this thing all over hell's half acre. It's gone from Oregon to Idaho, back to Oregon, over to Montana, down to Utah. And even recently, um, it just moved back here. We had it in Utah for a few years and uh, it came back with us. So here's the front window. This one opens and I have kind of a fun little solution for how this works. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I've got this, drop my screwdriver. Oh, this is a professional video. So I've got this piece. I needed to hold this window open and so this is what I did. This goes over, I won't be able to do this with one hand. This goes over that and this screwdriver when the screw is in the right place. Oh, maybe I could do it like this. Huh. I can do it one-handed. Okay, so then this goes out. There you have it. High tech. <laughs> and so what's the colorful thing in the background is the little trailer that we had last year at the tiny house jamboree we call New Zealand. That's our workshop on wheels. So they live here together. And that is the story of the sheep wagon. Thanks for asking.